Let's be real. It's your boy P Shark back here again with my co host. This you got Tevin Shakir rocking. What up, though, Savage? It's AK, aka Cool Breeze. Cool Breeze. <laughs> All right, man. We're back again. This time, first, and it's our first NFL episode, guys. Hey, yeah. he's talking. almost back, baby. Right, yeah, it's about that time. Season. The repeat is coming. Oh, Lord. Let's keep it for the, let's keep it for I, the I'm troll not, I'm, not, all. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> to be dealing with this NFL and NBA wise, I don't think I'm ready for that. Uh, <laughs> right. Both his teams good again. Hey. Both, both uh, his teams. I was happy when he squirted for like six years. Yeah. Man, what? Fly. Listen, this is not fair, bro. But two, let's go ahead and discuss. Well, y'all know who Savage's favorite team is. Them, them, you know. Them How long have you been an Eagles fan? I've been an Eagles fan right. since 2001. Yeah, all right, okay. Since Madden 2002 came out, so that was 2001. When Terry Lawrence was on the cover? No, nah, that was Randy Culpepper. Not Randy, Randy Culpepper. Culpepper. Yeah. Dante Culpepper. Oh, what? <laughs> Dante Culpepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from uh, Ridgeway. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's a Randy play ball. Uh, you played Raleigh. Raleigh. Oh, Raleigh. Oh, Raleigh. Oh, Raleigh. Oh, Raleigh. Oh, I'm getting Craig, everybody Craig, 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 Craig. But yeah, it was a. Uh, but you gonna have them if it's post coming? Right. Man, <laughs> y'all so wrong. Well, I know what happened. I know what happened. It was it was a CBL game at Ridgeway over the summer, and he put up like 60, 70 points. That's what happened. You mean so shoot, he, shooting from half court? Shooting from half court. That's what happened. Really enough, I remember that game. Yeah, I remember. I remember, I remember, I remember <laughs> he played for I remember, Sheffield. I remember. Sheffield was the school. Well, he, but I remember some game over the summer. It was some summer league. You know, do summer league thing, and he put up 70 points shooting from half court. But anyway, no, yes. The Hudson, the Been a fan line, since 2001, the Eagles, because I was tired of everybody liking Michael Vick as the black quarterback. I'm like, we got McNabb, who's also black over here. So mm. I went, went to the other black quarterback. Uh, really? And he really? was Steve McNair. Was so I see, y'all see my sign right now. Hey, man, forget Ma- hey, forget McNabb, bro. It's all about Carson Wentz and Nick Foles, well, Steve man. Steve though. Speaking of Steve Manero, <laughs> that's my squad. <laughs> Titans. Die hard since that Super Bowl. Um, I, cry, I cried. And I, was seven, I was seven years old. I cried. Hey, man. <laughs> right, well, one yard, man. Greg, me and you got something in common. Um, Steve Manero. We both are fans of black quarterbacks. And I, I cried is. the year that we lost the Super Bowl to the Black Panthers. Come on now. <laughs> Carolina, baby. Carolina Panther man, diehard fan since Jake Del Home was throwing Jake six Del interceptions Holm. to people. Steven Davis. Man. Steve Smith. That was my, that was my favorite Smith. player. Steve Smith. Muhammad. Musa Muhammad. Yeah. Hey, Deshaun yeah. Foster. <laughs> man. You, day, Julius man. Peppers. Keep him coming. He's still there. He's still there. We still there. Come on. But now, Cam Newton's definitely the man. For a second. He hate me. One, All right, cool, Cam. Breeze. I know you not just big in the field, it's but it's, it's not even there, man. I, I, haven't had a, I haven't had a favorite since Peyton. Peyton Manning's okay. favorite Peyton, player. Yeah, I haven't yeah. had a favorite since then. Why, why, why Peyton? I never knew that. Why Peyton Manning? Like, what's the... F Peyton Manning, man. I know we trying to keep this PG-13, but I... He was, he's better that than Tom Brady. Super Bowl. I ain't even trying to go into So, Tom yeah, you never Brady. told me Peyton your Manning. reason behind Peyton Manning. I, I enjoyed the man IQ when it came to, yeah. to the game. Yeah. The passing, the IQ. Like, that was a pure leader. Mm. I enjoyed that. Like, don't get me wrong. I loved Michael Vick. Yeah. When he was in his prime... You couldn't tell me. NFL, Michael Vick. NFL, like, NFL, NFL, NFL Street Volume 2. Man. Yeah, I am picking yeah. Michael Vick. Yeah. To run. I ain't even passing it. I'm running every play. I'm running off walls and everything. Like, yeah. you had to fear Michael Vick running game. Him and, and I, Randy Moss were unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah, so at that point, you know, I enjoyed Michael Vick and all that, but Peyton was the pure leader for me. Yeah. And um, at the time, I think he was on the cover of NFL Fever, the Xbox that just came wow. out. Wow. NFL Fever. Man. Yeah. Man, that's a throwback. <laughs> she even come back to the Blitz, man. Hey, it's a throw. I, know, I can't even see. I don't remember Blitz. Blitz. I remember, Blitz the only reason why I remember Fever, Blitz Fever was one of my Fever first. was hard to play. I remember Fever. It was yeah, hard. Fever yeah. was hard. That was one of my favorite uh, <laughs> football games, and that was one of the first ones I got on Xbox. And that helped, you know, because I used to play my dad in, in mm. that game. And at the point, I used to pick the Colts, and that is when I learned them. Okay. But um, I knew for anybody to be successful in the NFL, you can't run your whole career. Yeah. So Man, Michael, Peyton is the epitome of that. <laughs> like, no, nah, Peyton is you. Bear, if you he's saw sitting him, in the pocket, <laughs> like he gonna sit in the pocket, and if you see him run, he's sliding wherever he going. He yeah. ain't trying to get hurt for nothing. <laughs> so, but yeah, he's been my favorite. Um, recently, I've been trying to get back into the NFL, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I, I hate to go back to my number one squad from no. when we was little. No, who? I don't. No, they who? know who it is. No, especially I, I know who it is. I know who it is. Especially this guy. I know who it is. But I no, it's a little hesitation to no. it. Do but it. it's between them and the Panthers for me for Cam Newton and stuff like that. Go to the Panthers, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, go, 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 go. Who is them though? Though who are you? Who are you we them. We them. Them slaw boys. You know who them? 
<laughs> so basically, Tevin, he gonna be a he gonna be a Panther fan. So you want you want a bandwagon Carolina fan? Well, there, there, there uh, you go. Carolina application. I can get no, down Carolina. No, I I really don't want a bandwagon because truthfully, I rocked with the Cowboys. He did. Like he Troy did. Aikman, wow. Emmitt Smith. All of them. <laughs> like, I, 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 got, I have so I have so many questions right to now. ask you. Like, but <laughs> I don't even know a, if you're. How come you had a problem with the cowboy song and the shoes and stuff though? Like, I, I do have a problem with that. Not, <laughs> yeah, that's see, why, see, that's when, when you, I got so many questions for a legit when cowboy you, fan. When you brought up <laughs> like, where Laker fans and cowboy fans, cowboy fans are worse. Now, am Absolutely. I, like, and let's just be honest. Like, that was my bold like, statement, bro. Like, <laughs> no, they were. LA fans are bad, but I feel like they only got amped up as bad when it came to COVID. Man. Yeah. Like, they're yeah. not as they're horrible now. We like, chill now. With, like, they're horrible now with you know LeBron coming, oh, but it used to be just really like, do you hate the Lakers or do you hate Kobe? You know, for what he does to your and, favorite team, your and, favorite player. And you wanna know why I made this statement? Why? Who are our closest friends? Your boy, like a fan. <laughs> no, that's exactly why I made this statement. Because think about it. I, I hate the scholars. Not we here hear, <laughs> we hear this every day, almost. Look, they're not cowboy fans, so we don't. I ain't care. that bad, man? But so, see, but, but you when you see cowboy fans like, but I know they, what you mean though. They out there like you know. I, I just want to say this. what you say. I just want to say this. When I like before the Eagles won the Super Bowl, uh, Cowboys fans used to always mess with me. And part of being an Eagles fan used to be. We don't have a ring. Like, mm. we, we were the only team in our division without a ring. Cowboys got five. Giants got four. Redskins got two, I think. And we were just the one team that was always good enough but just can't do it. So they're like, hey, y'all ain't got no ring. I'm like, y'all ain't want a ring since in what? 20 years. Since 95? When like, was the last time we went to the playoffs? Who, the Cowboys? Yeah. That was, two, what, two years ago? And, the uh, and before then. Yeah, two years ago. Exactly. Two years prior to that, probably the uh, the basically, catch. You know the what? Ain't no Cowboys people here to, to, <laughs> to defend them, themselves. So I'm, not, I'm not gonna. Yeah, we ain't gonna shoot no shots, that. and they can't. Yeah. You know, but but either way, yeah, I they. Like that. I'm real. But let's go ahead and go into <laughs> Lashawn McCoy, my former Sean, favorite player on the Eagles. Shady McCoy, my boy no, Shady. Don't, don't do the former now. I mean, I mean, I still, I still rock with Shady. That's my guy. Former, he's former Eagle for real. So he's former <laughs> Eagle, but you know, he he got some trouble going on with so, the. The story came out this week. Um, so his ex girlfriend had showed it was a picture with her, and she got rid of him, beat really bad. Mm -hmm. So I guess whoever posted the picture, I don't think it was his. Ex -girlfriend it was her best her friend. friend. It was her best friend. Yeah, her, her best, best friend. friend posted it and was sure. saying how Lashawn did all of the beating and apparently was abusive to her, the his dog, child, a dog, and all and types of stuff. And she just basically all serious type stuff. Of allegations. She she basically clumped up every problem an NFL player has had. Right. Into, into one, one player. yeah, into one <laughs> player. Yes, he did. Like Especially dogs, going kids. On now too. What with dogs? It was Mike, Mike Vick, kids, Adrian Peterson, beating on women. Uh, that's most, uh, everybody, that's Greg, Greg Hardy. everybody, Greg oh, Hardy. Um, uh, Ray Rice. Well, that was one incident, but yeah, Ray Rice. He, yeah, he got black ball steroids. Player. Football players steroids, in general. Sean Mary, man. Yeah, that's so it's like she. That's here. and if you're gonna make those allegations, hopefully, it's the person who's making it. Hopefully, they are true. Well, one, I hate that she got beat. Like that's nobody, yeah, nobody, des that. nobody deserves that because that that picture was brutal. Like it's very disturbing. But um, I mean, we don't know what's going on with him. I'm assuming the NFL is doing their their uh, their Dude, process. Yeah, he go. What happened yesterday? Yo, Dre, I got something to say. Oh God, I oh, need Lord. this. <laughs> <laughs> need this sound bite, man. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently, so as the week went on, some mm. another report came out that. Um, it was it wasn't the Sean McCoy who did it. He apparently set it up to happen. Quote unquote set it up. So yesterday, another report comes out. His girlfriend, uh, you know what? I don't think he had anything to do with it. Oh, she said that? She yes. said I, that? I, I, I didn't hear that. Yes. See, that's, that's why you were you were ready to go ham since yesterday. Yeah. Oh, that's I why you was mad. Wow. I read the article. She wow. apparently wow. said, you know what? I'm not sure if he even did it anymore. So okay, so well, one, what you know that the girlfriend, the ex girlfriend I, I'm assuming she didn't make the allegations because the, the best friend posted it. Right, the best it. friend did make so it. So really, it's the best friend who... So, you know what? It's just a haul around, just hopefully. <laughs> this this is... Man. I hate wow. I hate allegations. Like, put it this way. I hate that, you know, I hate the bad things happening. Yeah. To her. But then I hate the allegations that this could have... If this wasn't true. Yeah. If this isn't true. Because you basically slandering his name and, mm -hmm. and dragging him through the mud, and right. now you got him, people looking at him crazy, like people that's like. You've damaged his image. Yeah. His image. Like, his career would have ended. Yeah, it really could have. Like, and endorsements gone and whatever. I mean, I don't know what NFL players get, but like that stuff messes with your money. Right. Like, and just your well being. Like, even after your career, like, who say that Shady would have wanted to be on TV? And if you got that. You gonna not gonna be on TV. Got, and he got a personality. Yeah, like and he, TV, like. yeah, he's a he's very vibrant. He'll talk. He's funny. Like, and for that to come out, 
who going to hire him when he when he retires? Cause that's that's coming up pretty soon. About two, why, three, two, why, years, why, why, let me ask you guys this. We, 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 we're discussing, we're we being real. Mm. That's what we discuss. Why is it that football players are guilty before innocent, before proven innocent? Because, I, it's a, because I play football, so mm. it's a violent sport. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if the whole CTE stuff coming out, it's it's put a like a, a cloud over yeah, the game. Yeah, I agree with that. And it comes out like, you know, so many head injuries, you know, all the concussions and Think stuff. Think about Junior Seau, yeah. you know, suicide situations. Most of those situations, they were very fiscal with their mm -hmm. significant other, other yeah. before mm -hmm. eventually committed suicide and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's it's really just that whole, that whole everything coming, that cloud that's over it right now, the whole game of football, not just the NFL. I think almost it's like it's expected almost. Yeah, I think it's that, the, it's the CTE situation where players are not thinking correctly Especially later on in their careers, like Shady, he about thirty something now. So yeah, he's he, thirty he, now. He's take, I mean, he's Shady. Like on the court, he can he can on the court on, on the field, <laughs> on the field he can like shift. But like you still taking hits one way or another. Mm -hmm. So it's that coupled with the fact of football has that locker room environment and culture where it's like boys will be boys, yeah. you know. And a lot of players are coming from like those cunt like them country areas where it's like you know anything goes. Area, yeah. You know you can hit women, you can do this and do that. And we which, saw we saw our parents do it. We saw our family members do. It. We saw somebody and you, keep, right, and you right. And that becomes the norm for you as mm -hmm. a as a man growing up, and especially when you go from you know the country into being a millionaire, where you bring those them deep south mentalities of right. like I can do this to a person, and then it happens and it's, and it's not right. Yeah. You know, also separating your mentality so. With me as a football player, I, I am like the most nicest person outside the field. That's facts. Yeah. On the <laughs> field, you have to you got to be a whole different personality. Yeah. yeah. Some players have the same personality they have on the field. On the yeah. Outside the field. Yep. Off, off yep. the field. Yep. So that's another that's another. So are you saying people too. don't have an on and off switch a lot of the times? Yes. It's tough. Like it's, it's that's tough for for especially guys when you when you play football like even starting from like Pop Warner. Your coach ingrains yeah. a tough mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like that's on and off the court. There's like there's like what's it? No crying in football. You can't be yeah, you emotional, can't. which is which is a problem in society in general, in general with, with yeah. guys. But with football, it's hyper hyper uh, masculine because that's a hyper masculine sport. There is no women's. I mean, it's women's football, but not like a women's NFL. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Where it's like it's all about being tough. And if you're not tough, you're not gonna play in high school or college or the NFL. You won't make it. Prime example: the Jonathan Martin dude. Who got oh, bullied yeah. by uh, Richie Incognito, yeah, Richie and John, he he had mental health issues. You yep. know what I'm saying? And he didn't tell anybody about it. Yep. You know, so that's why, because um, the fear of telling somebody and then being labeled as a I don't want to say a, a, a b word, just, but that's what it yeah, is. You know soft. what I'm saying? And so that mentality is reinforced off the field, where you have to, for some reason, display your masculinity to your your girlfriend or your wife or whatever. And not say that Shady did it, but that's like the mentality that a lot of guys, even beyond football, have, which is kind of like messed up because you're not supposed to hit a woman. Like that's crazy, exactly. you know. Absolutely. But I'm curious to know, like, what happened with her? Like, who who did this? And if it <laughs> wasn't him or anybody yeah. associated with him, why would you do that? And like, uh, why is like the best friend so quick to? Yeah, she uh, she went right to assuming Shady did this. Another case that happened. Um, as y'all know, early I think it was early this year, Janoris Jenkins. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Somebody died. Somebody they found. Somebody was found dead. I think his, his cousin or something. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, his home. But you know, he wasn't there, so he had nothing, he had nothing to do with it. Because wasn't Shady's ex girlfriend at his house? Or yeah, now yeah. nah, his at one of his residences. Yeah, she still stays. Yeah, at one of his residences. So I mean, in the report I saw yesterday, it was like she's trying to get ready to move out of their residence too. Because so, he wanted her out. Like they broke yeah. up. There was so that's another reason probably the allegations came about too. Something about mm -hmm. like oh he had something to do with it. She got yeah. set up, man. I mean, regardless of the fact, like. Don't drag him through mud if you don't know. If you don't know, right. Like you, That's my like, problem. Like, back in the day, like, if you heard about it before social media, like, it had been under investigation. Like, it was, like, it was an allegation, but we going to do more investigation before everybody else knows about it. Mm. Now we're in the social media world where you're going to find out before the police find the, out. Yeah, the moment it's on social media, it's, it's viral. Everybody then, has it, yeah. Like, you're going to have everybody, everybody in their opinion. opinions. Yep. Everybody's going to try to make a difference. You got people mm -hmm. that's going to, like, Drag you through mud, and at that point, you become a liability to whoever you play for at that time. Because now you're affecting our ticket sales. If we keep playing you, you like mm -hmm. we got people that don't support uh, Michael Vick, prime example, uh, domestic yep. violence. We don't have people that you know to do that. So at that mm -hmm. point, now I got to look at you like those are the type of people you keep around you. Mm -hmm. So now I, I think like, that's I keep the reason. Everything. That's the reason I just I, I asked that is like we we 
see something happening on social media and at the at the end of the day, uh, mm-hmm. as soon as everybody see it, it's like, oh, we bashing them, we bashing them, we bashing them. Mm-hmm. And then we, we we see the reports, like you said, Sharky, and it's like, every, it, are people going to apologize for it? Mm-hmm. Or are they just going to be like, oh, okay, next time. Some people, they all the drag dude named through the mud, and he's yeah. innocent through the whole, like, he didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. He probably didn't know. Now, now I would say Shady was, he is a bit of a hothead. Yeah. yeah. So, and at, even like with like with Chip Kelly, Chip Kelly was crazy, but he had some points with, you know, LaShawn Jackson. LaShawn Jackson, LaShawn McCoy and LaShawn yeah, Jackson yeah. with them being hotheads. But, I mean, I don't know what he did. If he did it, I don't know. But, but it's it, like, it's, ew, I don't know. It's crazy. At the same time, y'all made a statement um, in the previous podcast about how society is like a good 60 second, like quick to turn yeah. on you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So at that point, like, like, no matter what, if that would have came out, like, people going to be against you. Mm-hmm. And it's Automatically, same, yeah. Yeah. So at that point, like, you can't defend yourself at that point. Like, you can't. What are you going to do? Exactly. Like, yeah. you have had yet have that's a chance. Unfortunate, like even yeah, even then, a, yeah. even then he can come out and say I didn't beat that woman. People are still going to assume to, that he to did assume it, it. Yep. because you can't tell me from this date where Rihanna and Chris Brown had gotten into it that became yeah Chris uh, Brown career went all the way down all the way. I down. mean he, he did it, but it's still like he he has not truly recovered from that. Exactly. You know? So at that point, like at least have the true evidence behind it if you're gonna drag this man through this mud because. If you're going to ruin his career, his livelihood, and everything, I understand, like, you may have bad blood between him where y'all broke up and stuff like that. Mm. But at the same time, this is the man that cared for you, that brought you this far. Don't do that. But the mm. best friend to step in, like, yeah, come on. I think I think what her thinking was was that this is my friend, so I'm going to do what I can to, like, to protect her. To protect, not, not to, to that protect ain't her, protecting her, but, like, but more so make this make it right. Aware. Yeah. <laughs> Like, cause I, I mean, cause she might not have known. Cause I mean, she probably act emotionally, which yeah. which happens when you see your best friend bloody. It's like, mm-hmm. whoa, what the heck just happened? Like, what's going on? So I think it's fairly common for her to respond that way, especially given how social media is, where it's like, when something happens, we gotta post about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, but unfortunately, not everybody is nobody Guilty. processes what's going on, like how this could affect the other person if it's not that person. You know what I'm saying? So. And I think that's just the nature of the beast of social media and just society right now in general because everybody wants to post the news. Like, everybody's a news reporter. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, the, the cops, I don't know if the cops got there before she posted it or after she posted it. I don't know. But at the same time, we only see one side of the story. Right. And so we, we had, yeah, we had yeah. to wait, what, a couple of days before he even said he wasn't in town? Mm. So well, I, I think he posted no, the same day. He posted day. the same day. Oh, but on on Instagram, the, yeah. It's just the fact when you make the allegation that big. Because like, yeah, yeah, he had talked to his his, his agent and yeah. his people. He got to gotta make sure he say the right stuff. Exactly. Right, you know, yeah. To not hurt himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, man. But shout out to Shady. Definitely picking him in a fantasy draft next year. He's a good running back, man. Still good. Still, right, still so got legs. Speaking of, like, you know, allegations of hitting, <laughs> hitting women, for instance. Mm-hmm. James Winston, you know. I get, man, Dream. look. I'm That's, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. This is the same guy that what? <laughs> the crab I, legs. The crab legs. <laughs> the uh, F F uh, F riding riding the. He he stood on the in the table in the cafeteria. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he also told he also told little yeah. girls in elementary school that they yeah. need to be quiet. Be some, quiet. Some yeah. crazy he like that. He also had the rape allegations while he was at Florida State. Okay. Look, yeah. I got something to say about James so, Wilson. Yeah. Let me go start. Ahead, go, go ahead, sorry. Three go games suspension for something that happened. Well, it happened two years ago, but he did some with his, the Uber driver. He sexually assaulted mm. the Uber driver. So, um, wait, let go and get your let go and go off. Okay, right. first of all, <laughs> first of all, I James Winston. He's his numbers lie in my opinion as a quarterback, uh, and I know this is this topic is not even oh, like, well, let me go ahead football question, related. Yeah. But but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. All right, so wait, are you gonna go into like the the questions, or are you gonna go into like what you feel about just him as a person? I want to like all this is related in my opinion. Okay, well, <laughs> the question is, is his time up in Tampa Bay? Let's go. All right, so <laughs> in my opinion, it needs to be. It won't be, but it needs to be. He has. One, his stats lie to me because as a quarterback, he does nothing for me. I've watched his games. He he gets touchdowns. He gets yards. And he's like rah, rah. Mm-hmm. He like they hit that uh, weird thing against the Saints. Yeah, the, 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 the W. Eat the W. He he is he's 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 weird to me. Like he's he <sighs> He's very inconsistent. He's inconsistent. He throws a lot of picks. And then yeah. coupled with like these like allegations and these Bad situation, like he got to be like twenty four by now. 
at some point you mature as a man and don't do crazy stuff anymore. You know what I'm saying? And so for you to be an average, in my opinion, an average quarterback, and nothing about him, he black and he ain't even mobile. Like, mm-hmm. you can't even run the rock. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> look, man, he got. in my opinion, he got to go. Because if you compare him to the other young quarterbacks in this league, Mariota got his team in the playoffs. Carson Wentz balling. Jared Goff Tied balling. Up. Tied I mean, up. Let, 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 let's go D- there. Dak with Prescott. The, like, with the division the that he in, too. Like, the NFC South. Man, I see, I see him deep. twice a year. It's deep. So, I mean, <laughs> I, he's very inconsistent to me. Um, when, when we go against him with the Panthers, it's either, okay, he's going to do really, really good against us, or we we we, we finna kick their butt. Yeah. Like, that's my mindset yeah. when we play <laughs> against the Bucks. Do I think this is his – do I think he should be off the Bucks? Absolutely. Yeah, but like he, how many he won't times be. you gonna give him? How many chances you gonna give him? But he, exactly. I think the reason he's with the Bucks is like he, well, he went to Florida State, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He went to Florida. That's State. That's the only reason he did. You know, he's he he's an okay quarterback when he when he when he plays well. Mm-hmm. You know, they got a team around, they got a defense around him, so it's like we we he give got him weapons, chances, but he got OJ Howard, he got Deshaun Mike Jackson, Evans. Mike Evans, who's a a, a top ten receiver. I wish Mike Evans would come to the Panthers. <laughs> he got a, he will come to the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> he got a good defense. And then, like, it's, it's one variable. It's J- you. The James is the reason they're not winning. <laughs> yeah, like, I, agree. I agree. Seeing him twice a year, he's the reason they're and not winning. And, like, my winning. thing is get rid of him now while you got pieces that are cheap, like, right now. Yeah. I don't know if McCoy been been paid yet, Gerald McCoy, if he been paid yet, but he's he a top defensive yeah. lineman. Like, he is. And you got a top receiver. And you got Deshaun Jackson who still got wheels. You so, got- <laughs> so, with you being an Eagles fan, uh-huh. would you trade Nick Foles? To the Buccaneers? Yeah. If I, if I'm the Buccaneers, I would take that because Nick Foles is steady. He's, Sign Cap. Well, this 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 is the thing. I would say trade for Nick Foles. Sign Cap. He that's the whole thing. I mean, other I like thing. Nick Foles. But yeah, but man, we're not gonna get. We're not gonna talk yeah, about. Yeah, I, I would nah, say nah, nah, Nick nah, Foles nah. is a good bridge quarterback. Like he's yeah. not gonna be your star, but he gonna be there for like two years. He gonna get you on. And, and think about Bell Nick Foles. Nick Foles is a great teammate. <laughs> Like, like even with the Carson Wentz situation, <laughs> <you stupid. laughs> even, even, even even with even with the Carson Wentz situation, like he's okay being the backup. I mean, of course I'd be okay now if I want, want me a Super Bowl ring. I'm good now. Yeah, Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like if I'm the Buccaneers, I would tr- I would get rid of Jameis one way or another. Get a veteran quarterback that's gonna be a grown up in the locker room because Jameis wasn't still at like an 18 year old kid in my opinion, and then. You can you can win some games like you have a good team around it. It's the quarterback that's not not functioning. So if the Buccaneers release Jameis Winston, do you think a team will pick him up? I think oh, yeah. I think based on talent, yeah, yes, he talent, he's not so. bad quarterback. He's just it's everything else with him. He's not he's not good enough to Ooh. warrant the stuff. In my opinion, trade for Teddy Bridgewater. That's mm. that's yeah, that's a good because they just drafted Sandow. Yeah, yeah, I would love it. No, then there'll be a black like they they need a grown up yep. in the locker room. They don't have a grown up. It's, it's like your your quarterback cannot be childish. Like it's, it's, like, it's like how I feel. A point guard should not be childish. You need to have right. a leader at your quarterback position. Carson Wentz is a leader. Dak Prescott is a leader. Cam has has grown to be a leader in my opinion. He he was kind of kind of in the the weird area, but he's better in my opinion now. Yeah. So do y'all feel like? Him, trading him would help him mature. Well, they're not, they're not going to trade him at all. I'm, he I'm saying, good. Would help him mature? Would, I'm would not him sh- going somewhere else help him mature? Since he's a hometown favorite, basically. I think he needs to go somewhere that's not near Florida. He has to be, yeah. If he's home, yeah. He need, I, he need to go like, to like it Green depends Bay on where or something. Because you trade to the Dolphins. <laughs> yeah, he needs to go to Florida. He need to go to like freaking uh, Seattle and back up And the Dolphins do need a quarterback, too, ironically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They didn't right. sign J. Cutler again? No. Nah, he was and Ryan Tannehill back for injury, but I retired. So yeah, he like James. He's like I don't for, for for being the number one pick. Trash like Mariota's. I, they should draft Mariota, but they didn't. Good thing they did. And Mariota is a great quarterback. <laughs> like even though Mariota is an adult, he's grown up, he mature. Yeah. Like yeah, that's what we love. <laughs> you know he had down year last year. I, 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 it was more on the coaching staff, but into this <laughs> conversation hold. Yeah, another time. Well, shoot, Tevin. Basically, you that you asked next Kevin uh, uh, next question. So <laughs> next up, Hall of Fame versus To former Eagle. So, it's y'all. Okay, man, this, man. <laughs> hey, y'all know me. I love T.O. I love me some T.O., man. Uh, I was mad. I'm, I was mad that he didn't. He should have got first ballot. Yeah, true. I, when he didn't get second, I, he has the right to be pissed. Yep. But, um, so, what's going on? I, I reword, I reordered the questions. Uh, why not, why not, why not attend the Hall of Fame in ceremony? Now, as my response to it is, I understand. Like I said, he supposed to be first ballot. 
Um, but I heard it on the radio the other day. It was I know it's different situations, but it's a uh, Kevin Green, the linebacker from the Steelers yeah, back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to wait eighteen years, and but he has the most sacks yeah, of all linebackers. Sack leaders. Yeah, yeah he three. had to wait eighteen years to get in the, in the Hall of Fame. What was the hold up for him? Like, was he like a bad person? Or something nope, like it just took eighteen years. So I was like, hmm. said somebody pay attention to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like I heard it on the radio the other day. I was like, wow. And I know other players like Chris Carter had to wait a long time. And it's like. I understand your frustration and your yeah. anger towards them, especially which their reason for keeping you out was your antics. You mm-hmm. never got in trouble outside outside the field. Um, like when we talking about the players getting in trouble, he isn't. He, he's never been caught up in any of that. All his stuff is, is strictly locker room related. Mm-hmm. But I kind of feel you kind of showing them the reason why they tried, why they kept you out the first two years with this move. So I'm, I am kind of in between it. Like, I understand why you're doing it. But then again, you are showing them exactly why. Yeah. That's why they tried to, That's why they was keeping you out. I, I, I got to disagree with you on that one. I think he's showing the NFL that specifically. But I think that he's doing it more towards the NFL as well. Because if you think about T.O.'s entire career, he's always been going against the media. Mm-hmm. He, but he's always been real. He's always been Terrell yeah, Owens. So you have the Hall of Fame denying him something that he earned. Like he's clearly a Hall of Famer. He's, he's one of the top five favorite. receivers of all and time. It's clear, and it was clear. Like it was clear today. The whole system that, of days is backwards. The system has something against you. They put Marvin Harrison in first Who? ballot. Exactly. <laughs> Who? Marvin Who? Harrison has the numbers, Who? but <laughs> yeah, 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 I got he it. has the numbers, but. Did he have like a murder charge or something? Yeah, so he had some. Yeah, something happened. He with had him. like a murder investigation on him. So, so it, like, it was. It's clear that the NFL has something against To. So I think To taking his, his his Hall of Fame speeches and every ceremony to to chat is a great thing. I loved it. Yeah, I because it. he's doing That's what he wants no to do and he's telling NFL it don't matter what you say about. Like me. the NFL's not even acknowledging him for for the. For yeah, That's whack. That's crazy. That's, now, whack. That's the next question. That's <laughs> whack. Now. That's why NFL not doing it. When he said, because now he got the problem I didn't have with him not attending. When he said he was going to have it at check, mm-hmm. have the. Uh, it's just like a global speech. satellite and right. show him. So there. I feel like, oh, that's perfect. I like, I love that decision here now. So now they talking about not acknowledging him, but he's going to give that's his speech crazy, at man. his college. Because, you know, T.O. come from a small old town. Mm-hmm. And he, he had a, he had a. His whole. You hear a story. Was crazy. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, you didn't. Like his, his reality TV show when he was talking about it, it was like. It, yo, it was like crazy. Yeah, like his dad stayed across the street from him. never saw him. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Like. <laughs> I mean, with that, it's kind of proving my point. Like, the NFL has always been against Terrell Owens. Like, yeah. For whatever reason. Yeah. I know his – off the field, he wh- – what can you say about him? I mean, he, he he's a receiver. That, like, he's going to be a diva regard. Like, Odell Beckham got problems. But, yeah. You know? They all do. But <laughs> it's like you 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 you, you telling you, – you, I think the NFL was trying to prove a message. It's like, okay, you're not going to rock with us, but we're not going to rock with you. Yeah. My thing about that is to prevent that from happening. What the NFL, in my opinion, should do is – when you are eligible to be in the Hall of Fame, you can just say, hey, you're going to be in the Hall of Fame, but we, we don't have uh, space for you this year. But just so you know, you yes, you are in. Like the, In my opinion, the Hall of Fame is yes or no, period. Like if you get mm. if you go down a list of players and say is he a Hall of Famer yes or no at that point yeah he in like there's no there's no like eh, he's not really a, a Hall of Famer like T O one of the best receivers of all time like yes he's gonna be in the Hall of Fame like Tom Brady is he yes or no yes he in the Hall of Fame best mm. quarterback of all time Do like you, let me let me ask you guys this do you think if this wasn't T O if this was let's say Steve Smith or whoever else that wanted to decide to do this speech at another campus. Mm-hmm. Do you think the NFL would have the Hall of Fame would have still acknowledged them if they would if this person wasn't Steve? If, if it was Steve Smith, if it, if it was anybody, oh, okay. not, Steve Smith was terrible too. Yeah, because Steve, Steve Smith, yes. I but. mean, but at the same time, I think <laughs> he been Hall of Fame. I think Steve, no, I think they still be, show Steve Smith the respect. Oh, no, respect the NFL, the NFL. Well, think about that though. Steve, against Steve Smith, also. But see, but see, Steve Smith not for, to T.O.'s point, but, but not to T.O.'s point. But I still think in that situation, but Steve Smith Steve works Smith. for the NFL Network. But, oh yeah, you know what? So that's that's so that is also because. That's probably, honestly, that's probably how T-Mac got in the Hall of Fame so quickly. <laughs> Man, yeah. For working. Yeah, hey, so, I love T-Mac, but. but it, and Steve Smith is just as bad, not just as bad, yeah, but he, 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 he's bad enough like yeah. T.O. where it's like antics off the field, but he, he's a Hall okay, of Famer. Let's say somebody that didn't have any antics off the field. I think Steve Smith was kind of a bad example. But well, not well, since he worked in fitness. Say like Andre Johnson. Johnson. So yeah, let's say like yeah, somebody yeah. respectable off the field, on the field, somebody very respectable. Andre Johnson. But he was like, I, I wanted to do okay, something. Andre Johnson. <laughs> let's say Andre Johnson no. went to go to his college and say, no. I'm going to do this at, at my college. Do you think the NFL would have had a problem with that? Do you think they would have acknowledged him? They would acknowledge him. Yep. They would acknowledge him. Because mm. you were, they were thought of him because Andre, Andre Johnson was quiet, mm-hmm. so they were just thought of him. Except when he be cool and finna too, be, <laughs> you know, had a spotlight on him. So, yeah. but I know, yeah, that's a great point you just made. That's, mm. But yeah, do you think T.O. cares? I think he cares a lot. That's why, that's why he's doing. That's this. why he's doing it. Yeah. That's why he's doing it. T.O. is very emotional anyway. But the thing about T.O. is 
the NFL, they use him like it wasn't nothing. Like yeah. when it comes to marketing and T.O. is box office, man. Like yeah. uh, <laughs> popcorn ready. Yeah, he box show. office, I mean, man. Don't, don't the NFL do that for all black players? Yeah, yep. but T.O. like with T.O. specifically, like like during even like with the Eagles, like when he went to the Eagles, it was like a huge deal. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember the Monday Night Football when it was like him and the, and the lady with the towel on. Like they they use him for marketing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they they know what they doing. Like ESPN, they know when they doing. They show uh, T.O. top ten celebrations, T.O. top ten plays. Like they know what they doing. They when they do it when it comes time to give me my respect. We see what it, see how it is. Respect. One more thing before we move on. I want to ask. I want to ask this question. We've seen. I've seen a lot of videos of T.I. T.I. T.O. working <laughs> out and doing a lot of things. Do you think y'all? You think he can get back in the league? Yeah. Hey, what is he? Forty now. I think he could play. He can play. He can play. Jerry Rice still played at 40. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, he could play. Honestly, T.O., with the way the league is played now, how mm -hmm. spread wide, how spread, the mm -hmm. spread, how wide open it is. Oh, yeah, see, he can still play. Interesting. T.O., because no I said with, the same thing. With, with, no worries worries or nothing. Huh? <laughs> with no worries or injuries or nothing. No, you can, no. you always worry about injury in football, period. T.O., well, I know you, that, but I'm yeah. just saying. But I mean, even though With age being a factor. T.O. still dunking on people, bro. I still believe. That's crazy. I still believe he can pull some numbers better than half of these receivers in his league. T.O. Yeah. T.O. can run a route. T.O. Yep. can catch the ball in traffic. T.O. can still farm your T.O. Yeah, I remember the game, the show, the game. Yeah. And yeah, Jason yeah. came out and like in in in, in, the, in the shoes and hit the field and hit them routes and stuff. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think that's what T.O. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. This man, Jason Pitts. Jason Pitts. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Pitts. Hitting the route. Huh? Didn't he have a video recently? On yeah. social media? Yeah, yeah. That's, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that was one of the videos. Okay, who, I, I wish forgot he played, who said that Ethan Bain alive. Football <laughs> Somebody said that Ethan Bain alive. Um, T.O. ran a 4 4 40, man. Like, he's, he's still out there running, bro. <laughs> yeah, T.O. got it. All right, man. Next up. So, <laughs> uh, funniest topic of the day. Lord. This video, Pac Man Jones. Well, <laughs> he goes hey. by Adam Jones now, my but Adam. we still, he's, he's Pac Man. He's still Pac Man. I'm going to tell you, he, we drafted him. And he had off he had off field issues with us. And that's yeah. why we got rid of him. Then Cowboys got rid of him for the same reason. He's pretty much been good with the Bengals outside of that on the field with the Steelers, that playoff game. But mm. talk about that another day. So I'm I hope most of these uh the listeners saw this video. I'm sure they have. It's a pretty funny video, man. <laughs> to say the least. But y'all wanna see a day about it? <laughs> <laughs> airport airport secure well, dude work at the airport was Insulting him, trying to come at him, and that man got gone ahead and had to give him uh, the Chris Childs. One he, two, he gave him the two piece chicken. The two piece Chris Childs. Shout out to Popeyes. Shout out to Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was more interested in what happened to the chicken. Than, like, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was crazy. Like, so, you dropped a Popeyes. Did, did they eat it? Did they throw it in the trash? Uh, well, oh, they question. did. I mean, that's that's some quality chicken though. Like, it is. how you how you gonna <laughs> drop the whole pot? Like, that's how you know you mad. When you got a a box of two piece Popeyes chicken and a biscuit with honey, and a biscuit with the honey, and it's on the floor, it's on airport floor. Like that's, that's somebody that's, walked by, like, damn, that's so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, my question was, she get in trouble? I say no, oh, nah, nah, no, no, because he didn't, he didn't get arrested for it and stuff. Because um, like I said, he was getting insulted. I but I am afraid that in the field, I I hope, of course, don't. but I'm afraid he will because it's it's history with him. It's history with him. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the that's the NFL Draymond Green. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it slick is. It's dealt with off field issues. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, <laughs> I mean, the thing about it is he was defending himself. Yeah. So if you defend yourself, I mean, I don't think you should get. But in if you're the NFL and you have that NFL mindset, you're gonna the say, NFL hey, you could have easily walked away. The woman was trying to protect you. You didn't have to swing, but yeah. you, and right. you still went at it. I think that's what the NFL. What happened? Like say. leading up to it, like it's just the probably dude, dude just talking trash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like he was when the video started, like he was walking away and he was like trying to. Do oh, and then dude see. just kept coming. Then that's when he was like, you know what, I had it now. That's a mean, like when you walk away, but somebody says something under their breath and they yeah. turn around. Like, what you say? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he got a two piece, man. Two piece in the biscuit with honey. Nah, that's on the ground. That's on the ground now. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, he, he, he don't need to get suspended, man. Well, he do I think he gonna get suspended? Yes. Yeah. Probably like one, one, two game slap yeah. on the wrist type of thing. Uh, but should he? Nah, man. It's, it's a man handling his business, man. You lay hands on me, I lay hands on you, man. I ain't got mm -hmm. time for that. All right. So, so how much time? Yeah, thirty-four. Easy. Cool. Oh yeah, cool. we can we keep going. Good time. Let me, let me add something else in here. Uh, that's time. That's kind of just give our predictions on our favorite teams before we go troll or not. Okay. Well, that's well. We, we can go right. Probably your troll or not was your. My troll night is my team. But yeah, well, it was part. It's probably part of your prediction too, ain't it? I mean, yeah, I'm just here to I'm just here to to, to spit facts. Like, I want to do team related troll and alls. 
Yeah, you know I what? Can, I All of us could do a troll. Yeah, on I nine introduce it. Yeah. You, you think you come up with a troll tonight? For NFL? He don't care enough. He don't care. Yeah, he don't care. Yeah, he don't care. Yeah, he don't care. Nah, I can definitely troll with y'all, but as a, a individual topic, no. Nah. Do a nah. cowboy one. So he just he, he just here for for chiming in purposes. Do a yeah, <laughs> I'm chiming in until uh next time. Dude, say, 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 <laughs> give me give me time to do my research. Say, say, man, come SUV. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't even troll about hey, that. Hey man, took HGH. Heck, now that neck he got. <laughs> oh, it's over with. That pain man. First hey, man, hit, first met is over with. Uh, Alpha hat. Alpha. Let's be a coach. Yeah, he's gonna be next to him. So we gonna all do trolls. All right, I'm cool with it. You want me to induce? Yeah, I do. All right, so here we go. Troll or nah? So we're gonna do it differently this time. Uh, we're gonna have a troll statement. We're gonna decide if it was a troll or not. We're gonna do it NFL team related. So I'll be talking about the Panthers. Uh, Shark will be talking about the Titans, and Savage will be talking about those Eagles who <laughs> I think will not win the Super Bowl this season. Oh, but that's not my troll statement. <laughs> who wants to start it? P. Shark. Sharky. Let's go. Titan up, man. Matter of fact. I'm getting a ticket soon for us to go to the Eagles Titans yeah. game. Bet. In September. I might go with y'all. <laughs> uh, no. End of September? Bet. Yep. yep. Bet. We may. What you got? Thing. So, um, Troll or nah? We talked on Twitter the other day, uh, Savage. Okay. Uh, you remember I saw them stacks about Kevin Byard. Okay. Our safety. You know you know what Kevin Byard is, right? Yeah. Played the MTSU. Uh, led the league in picks last year. So, my troll or nah is, by the se- end of this season, Kevin Byard will be regarded as the best safety in the NFL. Ooh. I now, yeah, that's a bold statement. I was I like, that's bold. Um, here go my reasoning behind it. Um, I know you came in, you was like, man, what about him being all around safety? Mm-hmm. His rookie year, that's exactly what he was. He didn't have no picks his rookie year. He was playing toy, he was playing on the line of scrimmage, like the in the box, strong safety type, getting all the tackles. Then last year we put him back in center field, which were we which we which is what we drafted him for, and he mm-hmm. has sailed it there. Also. Okay, let, let, let's name some safeties. Hey, it's a lot of safeties, man. Now, like, we just go with the Madden Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Those safeties. If I, do, if I, off the top of my head, a, a safety that's better than Bayard, I'm, I'm going to say Harrison Smith from Minnesota. Yeah, that's the first person to come to my mind. I would say my, my person would be somebody that's even not, not even on a team, Eric Reed. That's one of my favorite oh, safeties. Yeah. Mm. And he's not even on a team right yeah, now. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's, that, that, that's crazy. That's crazy to me, too. But we, we know why. Yeah, and I'm going to also say, if he's healthy, I think he is this year, Eric Berry is also better oh, yeah. than him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Tennessee Vontae fan <laughs> also in college, yeah. so no disrespect. I, I forgot Berry. about That's him. He was right injured last season. Yeah. Ooh, and I forgot about him. No, I and, did say about season's end. Okay, uh, but okay. Now, I understand that. Now, I'm not saying, like, and, and as far as, like, Malcolm Jenkins, who's, my, who's one of my favorite players on the Eagles, I don't think he's, like, the best safety in the league. Uh, I can't really compare him to Bayer, honestly. I feel like I feel like Jenkins is not the best safety, but he's he's, good. he's asked to do a lot. Yeah, he's like he's good. like especially with before the last season when we had terrible uh corners, he played some slot, he played linebacker, weak side linebacker, he plays both safeties. Uh he's played special teams. So for what for what we want him to do, like I love Jenkins and our system, but I do remember that game where Byer had like three picks. <laughs> like he was a ball, he a ball hawk. So that's that's and that's a good thing for a safety you want to be a ball hawk. So I don't think it's a troll, honestly. I don't think it's a troll. I I think I think he might he might be uh, the best safety in the league if if if, if he keeps on the, the right the, track. The Titans defense, man, uh, it's good. Very good. They're it's great. good. I'm not gonna say they're good. They're great. <laughs> yeah. Next season. Well, this coming season. I, I I I may I may roll with you. I might. Yeah, I don't it's, think it's, it's a not troll. Tro- not I don't troll, think that's a troll. It's not a troll. I may roll with you. <laughs> you want to know another reason it came to mind? Deion Sanders. I ooh, I remember it. It was it, he disrespected Kevin Byer like a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Yeah, he was I like continue yeah. to be a fan. Like he had like Kevin Byer didn't play in the league. Yeah. When wow. He, on the response, <laughs> he was like, "Oh, you just continue to be a fan and uh, something." It was something. It was something. Mm-hmm. It was so. Bro, I was like, it's Kevin, Dion, though, and Kevin Byron didn't come. Kevin Byron was like, oh, okay, bitch, I'm going to show you. <laughs> hey, that's, I was like, that's, that's, I was like, that's oh, mentality you want, though. Boy. That's the mentality you want as a player. So, especially with the secondary, we got a whole. You got Adore there. You got, uh, what's the boy name? Malcolm New Bula. England? Yeah. We, I, I like Adore, man. This might I like Adore. I, 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 I don't, I'm with you, Shark. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that was true. That was, that was a good one, bro. Who, who next? Is, I go next. Right. <laughs> Troll or nah? Carson Wentz will be the MVP this year. Nope. Carson nope. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. Well, he first of all, been, he, he should have been MVP this year. We know that. Yeah. I think everybody in the NFL knows that this man threw 
a touchdown with <laughs> one ACL. Because <laughs> he still should have got the John Lay. He still should have got in my opinion. Because he got hurt late in the season. He still, he, it was still like two games. It was like he got hurt with like two games left. Yeah. Tom Brady had a pretty – he had a, he still had a, his usual good season. Cause but it wasn't – When Carson got hurt, he was leading the league in touch. He had 34, yeah. which, which was the most in Eagles history, which surprised Already? me, honestly. Right. Dang. His second year in the league. And for – like I understand Doug Pearson is a great coach. It's a great system. And I mentioned last year on the podcast how we literally – are the most improved team because we got Alshon. We need a receiver, like, mm-hmm. in general. And then you have players that catching the ball. But Carson Wentz has so many plays that just pop out. Like, he's he's athletic. He can scramble. He It was one play against the Redskins. I think the Redskins. He almost got sacked. But he, like, smushed down to the pocket <laughs> and then burst out of the sack and got a first down. Like, <laughs> it, like I think the combination of the stats and just the wow factor of him – is going to make him MVP this year when he should have won last year, and they're going to repeat. Yeah, I said it. All right. Let me, let, 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 <laughs> let me go ahead and get him because I, dis- <laughs> I, I, I disagree with the MVP thing. Okay. Because trolling out, Cam Newton is going to win his second MVP. This oh, year. this man put – I put out a draw four. This man put out a draw two on my team. That's what happened. Hey, it's all good. Uh, so somebody what? Somebody going to accept it. I'll so. say this about Cam. I feel like Cam will be in the conversation. Why? Because – I was against Christian McCaffrey last year, as a lot of you, yes, I think both of y'all everybody, know. Everybody, but he actually had a pretty good year last year for what he's what he's made to do. They're doing good by him by not having him be a running back, mm-hmm. having him being like a Darren Sproles kind of back, yeah, yeah, scat back, which I think is perfect for Christian McCaffrey because he got he got some some slick speed on him, like for a white boy. Ain't no, ain't no slick on that. One. <laughs> ain't, ain't no he can, slick about he that. He can catch. He, cold, he, cold he can catch. Too, he can run a route. <laughs> he got speed. He got heart. He got the right mindset for for like a team, so I could see him being the conversation, Cam. But he ain't gonna be Carson Wentz. Mm. Did we beat y'all last year? Oh, we did beat y'all last year. Yeah, without Luke Kuechly. <laughs> and I fault. We ain't have uh, JP Jason Peters left tackle. It's all good, but <laughs> me, man, I think this is. I say Cam Newton is because literally this that the weapons that he have are his best weapon he's ever had. I agree with ever. that. I agree with that. And you get him DJ Moore, you get him Torrey Smith, who has yeah, DJ Moore. Like who the, have, like who the, has like experience it. in the Super Bowl. Greg Olsen should be healthy. My boy G Red, yeah. Funches, I think if we put him at a two wide right receiver, I think he may be one of the best two receivers. I did like Funches last year too. Yeah, he was good last year. Cam Newton had thirty. Yeah, I got rid of a uh, homeboy. Who? Who was, who'd I get rid of? It was some receiver I got rid of. Benjamin. Benjamin. I love that move. Get him out of there. I love he was that trash. Move. Uh, he was trash. <laughs> he was unmotivated. He kept coming to training camp overweight. And y'all got Tory, my boy Tory. Now, now think about Tory. Tory, he gonna he fast. He'll get behind him. He's it, like he's like a, he's a he's a rich man's T again. I'll right. take that. Because, <laughs> are y'all, I was just about to say he had thirty five. <laughs> Passing <laughs> touchdowns and his best receiver was Ted Ginn, who literally dropped almost half Man, of his passes. <laughs> and he had game. ten rushing touchdowns, forty-five. I went to, I went to that Saints game that year. Man, he had dropped one of the wide open touchdowns, boy. <laughs> so we got he got the pinnable receivers and the biggest key. Thank God we fired Mike Shula. <laughs> he was the person holding Cam Newton back. Mm. He would run the ball at times when it's like, why are we running the ball? He would <laughs> yeah. do plays. It's like. Who is y'all like main like workhorse running back? Like aside from McCaffrey, uh, this year it'll be CJ Anderson. Okay, uh, from from Broncos. Mm-hmm. Okay. But uh, McCaffrey gained like twenty pounds. Like if you look at oh, a okay. picture, he's ripped. What Hope y'all gonna do with Curtis Samuel? Yeah, because he ain't he ain't really do good last year. He, he that I mean that he was injured all yeah. season and he's coming yeah. back. But that, he was like a second slot. round pick. Business, this slot. Yeah, yeah, put him in a slot. Like he Cam Newton he's has weapons, and he he the, his his Super Bowl MVP season. He didn't have many weapons. Mm. Now he does. Mm-hmm. Y'all division gonna be tough though. Very tough. Because uh, Saints, the Saints, I think I got gonna, the Saints pick. Though. Saints gonna win the division because Kamara will be. I had the Saints pick to win the Super Bowl last year. If we want for that, that thank Luke God we ish. avoided them. Because I was Luke. scared of them. I was like, Luke. I told you, I said I'm not on Saints. Because Drew Brees, it, wasn't a fluke. it was just a terrible <laughs> decision by it. I hate when Saints. Man, Kevin Drew Biden, Brees, Kevin Biden making those type. Of Drew Brees on us, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I'm I'm rolling with my Panthers, man. Twin I division? Think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think I think Atlanta gonna gonna step up again this year. Um yeah. because, because they they had a second year with their office coordinator. Choke. Uh, man, they they Choke. they comparison to, to the Harden. Houston Rockets. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Atlanta. They, they, they but I do they think the Saints the Saints got that on lock. Uh well, Drew nah. Brees, he played good last year, but he That's was the only thing I can say. He was carried though. I say five time is undefeated. Yeah. Drew Brees and Tom Brady 
I was gonna say, I, and I don't, know, I don't wish injury upon anybody, but I think yeah. Drew Brees is gonna have one of those off seasons this year. I like he was not like Drew Brees is is great. Yeah, yeah. Like, we see him twice a year. I hated him last oh, yeah. year because we, we 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 lost him three times. Mm. But I think Drew Brees is. I don't think he's gonna make it at the end of the season. Yeah, you know, and I, I wouldn't wish injury on anybody. Yeah, but they got the one-two punch at running back, my boy African Mary, Tennessee yeah. Ball. But Mark Ingram Martin is spending the first four, four games. games. Yeah. And I don't know. It's kind of like I got this feeling like you give a, a Asian quarterback twenty million dollars. I don't think they, like they last. Year, I think they, I think they know that like he. Two years. Years. Yeah, yeah, I think they know that he's on the way out. So that's like the the contingency plan. That's what Houston should have did with Chris Powell. Yeah. yeah. Two so they going they four. probably gonna. I don't know if they're going to like make a move to get a higher draft pick to get a quarterback at some point or get one in free agency because, I mean, yeah, one thing I do want to look out for, for Teddy one, one thing I want to look out for is Aaron Rodgers is unhappy in mm-hmm. Green Bay. Yep. And oh, he, no, he, would, he would slide right into New Orleans. I do not want him coming in out He would slide. I'll be completely even, honest. I don't want him coming in He would slide division. right in there. Ooh, I really think he would. That's, in a dome? Ooh, Aaron Rodgers in a dome? Boy. Aaron Rodgers. Don't, don't. Back, all right, so back to the topic. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. Is, so, I'm a tight fan. Aaron Rodgers is my favorite player. <laughs> oh, we. Yeah. So, Sharky, Ashley, y'all gonna have to help us out with this troll or not? Because, like I, I said, my troll was, okay. or no, nah, is that Cam Newton would be MVP? Man, for personal. both of y'all, because I didn't get a chance to respond to yours. Okay. Mine is, I don't have, I don't think that was trolls for either one. Okay. Both players would be in the, in, in, in the MVP I agree discussion. I Cam Newton has there. MVP, and Carson Wentz should have had won MVP won. if. But even he should still want it anyway after an injury. Cause My better troll now is we we gonna repeat. I I honestly feel like we are going to repeat. Why? Because Carson Wentz is going to be a man on a mission. He go mm. mine. Just um, uh, I guess we literally could not lose with Carson Wentz. Like we lost a we lost no, a we, but, we lost to Kansas City by he like go, one possession. And let's go back to the even the uh, what I think about with Deshaun. I love Deshaun Watson. They're both coming off those ACLs. Yeah, and it's like would they have. Carson Wentz still gonna be good, but we, he have like a little lesser year this year, particularly this season. Being as far, come back to fully form, as far as what because season. and like his arm broke, like the man he can sit it's in the not, pocket. But it's you know, ACL, bro. it's a mental thing. <laughs> and it's like, like, I, I think y'all yeah, should. One thing about tough. Carson Wentz, is tough, but it's still no matter Carson what. Carson Wentz is more than tough. I Carson, think y'all should start the season off starting foes. Carson Carson Wentz is a man of God, and he has the mentality. <laughs> so is Russell Wilson and Tim Tebow. Right. Hey, and Russell Wilson be balling. Tatibo, <laughs> well, Tatibo, nah. Like, bad for Russell Wilson. <laughs> hey, I'm blocking yeah, for I, nothing. I just, I just feel like there's a lot of players coming back this year. Darren Sproles, he just, he just came out this year and said this is gonna be his last he year. 35, he, he, fin- he finna come back and ready to go. JP, he wants to be in Super Bowl. He, I don't think JP has ever played in a playoff game. Well, not ever play. He never, he never won a playoff game. Mm. Who? Left tackle, Jason Peters. No, just be- he got right, hurt got against my, y'all against got, y'all and y'all got Michael uh, Michael Bennett. Michael Bennett is there. Then we got y'all got my, another lineman too. We got Jordan, no, Jordan Hicks coming back. We got uh, he was squatted, bro. They, yeah, they, they squatted. squatted. But we got like no, nah, that's not that's not trolling on that. Yeah, oh, no, <laughs> like I can see that happen. <laughs> but like but, I, I feel like we will be the first team to repeat since who who repeated last? I don't even remember. The Patriots still. The Patriots. That's but the like Patriots. I just feel like we 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 do not have a Super Bowl hangover because players who play oh, integral no. roles, the quarterback of your defense and your offense. Are coming back and they're gonna be focused. Let's get this correct. Teams who have Super Bowl hangovers are teams who lose the Super Bowl. Teams who win it. True. I mean, teams haven't repeated, but they always made it back to the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. Teams who have hangovers. Teams yeah. who lose. Mm, we don't make the playoffs. Hours, mm. Seven and nine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So basically, or nah. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. I tell nah. But, <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> He's a troll. Uh, troll. <laughs> that's, that's the end of the first uh, first ever. NFL episode, guys. I so. think at some point we need to do like some uh some oh, we gonna, some rankings it's of the coming teams. Up next. That's next. Cause training camp coming, <laughs> training training coming camp up a couple weeks. weeks. So yep. probably shoot, might be next week. We might do some type yeah. of ranking. Cause I, I mean, cause the NFC gonna be stacked. So yeah. yeah. So man, that's it, y'all. Um, let's be real on Facebook, YouTube, and Spotify. LBR Sports nine zero one Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, where Kenfo got me. Yeah, where. <laughs> All out. right, we out.